Hey guys, this is MB from OnDrogChance.com and welcome back to my uh, NFL betting mall predictions for week 17. Uh, right now I'm sitting on 22 wins, 13 losses, profit 7.31 units, ROI plus 20.31%, uh, positive closing line value numbers both uh, against uh, Novik Pinnacle and win rate 62.86%. <clears throat> which is very, uh, it, which is pretty impressive because I use only numbers, so I don't uh, use any other information. I simply use the numbers put into betting model, and then I simply look for the discrepancies. Uh, we have only two weeks left, uh, and I recommend that you are very uh, cautious. So uh, be very careful with plays because some teams are already in the playoffs. Uh, some teams will probably some rest some players. Uh, maybe they will. Um, they will play only for fans and so on. Okay, so I, I, I would. So if you use my betting model, which you can get below uh, in the description, uh, and you can use it for next years as well, uh, I would probably stop betting now uh, because anything between five and ten, ten units, uh, considering the the small number of games in F NFL, is very good result because we have more sports to come. Baseball is coming. Everything else. Uh, and if you can make uh, from s s 5 to 10 units, this is great. So if we take this into other contexts, because sports bettors are usually not happy with their results. But uh, if you so if you bet only 1% as one unit and many bettors uh, bet much more, then this would be, I don't know, 7.31% growth in uh, so how many weeks? So in four months right so this is uh much better than stock market investment just just to make you uh just to compare this with with a stock market okay uh, and if you can do this constantly with different sports uh, step by step then at the end of the year you can take profits and this is basically what i try to teach sports bettors so they look at sports betting as an investment not just some gambling okay uh last week if we check last week results, I had over Bills uh, Chargers. It was a winning bet and under in bronze uh, Houston Texans. Uh, but I beat the, the closing line in both games, uh, and uh, this is this is uh, this is very good, especially when it comes to NFL market. Okay, so for the week 17, uh, I will share all my projections with you. I have one qualified bet. Uh, I'm doing this on Tuesday. Uh, every single week, I'm doing projections on Tuesday. Video will be released uh, later. Uh, I share this also in our membership group. Um, and uh, I still don't have all the odds because serious bookmakers still don't have uh, uh, the odds right now. Uh, this is special week. M most other weeks, we have pinnacle odds or matchbook odds or whatever you bet on which bookmaker you bet. But right now, you will see here bolded letters. So we have these two, these two teams and uh, these three teams, these three games. Those are the games uh, where bookmakers actually have the odds. But I put uh, some market odds from soft bookmakers, not odds, but spreads and totals, just to compare with my uh, my pre predicted spreads. Okay. Uh, but anyway, this is something I always uh, tell you that those are the most important information that I share with you because most bettors uh, simply don't have the tool to project the lines, don't use the numbers, don't know how to use the numbers, and then they are just trying to guess. And I think this is the biggest value. This is biggest value of my video. So as you see, I make I made some mistake, and if you use spreadsheets, you can always go back. Okay. Anyway, let's go to, to, uh, to this week's projection. So we have New York Jets against Cleveland Browns. Based on my projections, this will be low scoring game. 22.87 uh, points for this game. I don't know what will be the weather conditions. I don't know what are the motivations. I don't know what are the injuries and so on. But bookmakers total uh, is set at 36 at this moment. I don't know what will be at the end of the week. Uh, I think this is Thursday night football game. So I will post this video before this game okay uh on thursday i think this is pretty okay uh so this is my only qualified bet okay for this week but we will go through to, through the rest of the games and through the rest of the projections but as i said uh this uh, last two weeks will be special because 
uh, as I said, some teams will probably rest players. And my recommendation is that you stay away. This will also be probably my last bet uh, for this uh, regular season and maybe also for the rest of the NFL. Uh, so no matter if I win or I lose this bet, but I will keep sharing my projections with you, okay? Uh, Detroit Lions against Dallas Cowboys. I have Dallas at minus 9.4. Bookmakers minus 6.5, so there is maybe small value with Dallas. If both play with uh, uh, regular squads, uh, if they are motivated, they're playing at home. And I also projected a little bit higher number than uh, you see here. Uh, New England Buffalo Bills. I have Buffalo Bills at minus 18.5. Uh, bookmakers minus 12. So this is uh, this is 6, 5.5 different small in with Buffalo Bills. I'm not sure if they need this win or not. I didn't even check the standings. I simply put the numbers in and my betting mall shows me this. And then I put bookmakers lines and then I simply compare it. Okay. But those are my projections. Miami Dolphins, Baltimore Ravens. I have minus 3.75, bookmakers minus 3. I wouldn't touch this game. It is too close, no matter if they play with the full lineup or not. Uh, Las Vegas against uh, Indianapolis Colts. I have minus four on Indianapolis bookmakers, minus three, the same numbers. Rams against Giants. I have uh, Rams minus 11.36. I think this is wrong here, right? I think this should be like this. Uh, but it is small lean with, with Rams, so this is not qualified. This is definitely not qualified. Uh, uh, Carolina Panthers, Jaguars, uh, based on my projections, Jaguars should be minus 11.67, bookmakers minus 7.5. Uh, so this is a four point difference, maybe small lean with Jacksonville. Houston Texans will play at home against Tennessee Titans. Uh, my projections show minus 4.68 points for Houston. They are minus 3.5, maybe small lean with them. I don't know, as I said, if they will play seriously in this game or for the fans or for the for the uh, for something else but those are simply rough numbers uh, rough uh, projections from my betting model san francisco washington uh minus 18 on san francisco bookmakers minus 13.5 but this is again uh, 49ers are already in playoffs uh, as i i think they are complete they are already in the playoffs so i i don't know if uh, i would touch this game uh this is why also bookmakers are very careful, at least serious bookmakers who um, offer bigger limits. <clears throat> they are uh, at careful at the start of the week with offering these lines. Uh, but this is my project line. Arizona, Philadelphia, minus 14.18. Bookmakers, minus 9.5. So all those non-bolded letters, you see those uh, non-bolded letters, those are soft markets, okay? Uh, when sh Once when sharp bookmakers will release the lines, these lines will probably be a little bit different. Uh, I decided that I will not touch anything later. Uh, I will take only uh, the first game, uh, this one. Jets against Browns under 36, okay? Uh, but I'm sharing all the, uh, uh, all the numbers with you so you can use these numbers and make final betting decisions. Uh, Saints, Buccaneers, minus 1.22, minus 3, no value. Uh, Falcons against Bears, uh, I have this close to even game. Bookmakers have uh, Bears at minus 3 and Steelers Seahawks, minus 2.82. It is close to minus 3, uh, bookmakers minus 3. As you see, those are the, the games uh, that uh, are already offered from serious bookmakers. So they are a little bit more confident about these lines. And as you see, my betting mall has... Uh, very close numbers to their numbers. So this is uh, interesting, right? Uh, and then we have uh, two more games where only soft bookmakers have the lines. Chargers Broncos, my line minus 3.27, bookmakers minus 5.5. Cincinnati Kansas, minus 10.57, bookmakers minus 8. Uh, no value. And then the, the last game, this is also one of the games uh, where uh, sharp bookmakers have uh, already offered the lines. I have Minnesota at minus 3.72, bookmakers minus 2.5. It is too close uh, to my numbers, so this is not qualified bet, okay? Uh, so the only qualified bet, and 
uh, from those five, six games, which are offered by series bookmakers, uh, at least for me, is under 36 in the game between New York Jets and Cleveland Browns. And the rest of the games uh, are not qualified. And uh, some of the games here uh, are still offered only by soft bookmakers. And I'm not involved in this. So, uh, but I, as I said, I hope that these numbers will help you to make uh, smarter bets and uh, whatever you decide to take, I wish you good luck. And uh, you can check below in the description uh, the link to the NFL betting model. You can get it. Uh, it is a spreadsheet. It is very you. It is very simple to use, so you can have it for next years uh, to at least give yourself one other perspective uh, when you make bets. Uh, as I said, I was looking for seven point difference between my lines and bookmakers lines. Uh, I'm always doing projections on Tuesday. This is very important because um, sometimes I receive on Sunday uh email from someone who made projections with my betting mall and he said uh, he don't find any value anymore uh so he was i don't know he was waiting until sunday and this is the first basics of nfl betting uh you don't bet on sunday you don't bet on the closing line okay uh, the, the biggest value you can find earlier um uh, you can find the earlier because if you bet on Sunday on market like NFL, bookmakers' lines are extremely sharp because they will include everything, all the information, all the uh, uh, players, uh, uh, money involved, everything. Okay, And uh, you cannot beat, at least in theory, you cannot beat in the long run. Of course, you can win one single game, but if you want to do this in next 10 years and if you don't have to if you don't plan to do betting for next five, 10 years, I think uh, then just take it uh, as a fun, right? Uh, but if you do this for uh, next years, uh, then uh, of course, uh, if you bet NFL on closing time, uh, you will have very hard time to beat it, okay? So, uh, okay, that's it for me. Uh, I wish you uh, great holidays, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy New Year, and uh, I hope you will be all successful in uh, 2024. Thank you.